Hello everybody, and welcome back to Undertale. Quick little thing to say before we actually get into this. Like the last couple videos, lighting might be a little different, headphones are new because mine broke and stuff was moved around my room, which is why lighting might be different. Now, let's get back into this because none of you care about that. I don't know exactly where this is going to load. But I know we have to go see Alphys and befriend her, so it's right outside the battle. Like the last battle with, uh, goddamn, what's his name? The king. Well, I'm just gonna say the king. So, I know how to get back to Alphys, but I'm gonna skip this little bit for you while I get back to her. <coughs> oh, whoa, whoa. I wasn't expecting a phone call right now. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, Please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk! Oh, I gotta go all the way back to Snowden? That's gonna take a while. Alright, but I'll do it. I'm gonna get back to Snowden. I'll be back to you guys again. I thought this was gonna be a lot sooner because I thought we were just going to Alphys, but apparently Undyne needs us now. I have no idea. I don't want to take that path. Where's my elevator? I think it's to my right. Oh, actually, it won't take that long to get to Snowden if I could pop a little ride with, uh, whatever that thing is with the boat. There we go, if I could hitch a ride with this little guy. Ride in the boat? Heck yeah, you should bring me to Snowden, right? Yes! Okay, then we're off. I don't have to take a really long tour all the way to Snowden. I got a little, uh, little nice ride right here. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that phone call. Tra la la, if it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Awesome! I'm glad I could count on you. Wasn't there a dog head at the front of your boat and actually, was there always a ride to Snowden? Because I don't remember that happening. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Where are you, Captain Underpants? So Papyrus' house is not over here. We're above Papyrus' house. Because that's the Rock family. So shed me to the right now. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Undyne. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much, okay? Damn it, where can I get rid of my stuff? What am I carrying? I shouldn't still be carrying. I am still carrying my, all my food before the fight. Okay. Uh, actually, wait, I don't have to do that. Can't I just put stuff into the, the other dimensional box? Yeah, there we go. Get rid of all this junk food crap. Can't imagine I'm gonna be encountering a fight that'll actually need food for anytime soon. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... <laughs> oh, is it a love letter? I see you, bl Gil, blushing there. It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so yeah, it's a love letter. <laughs> I'll d tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You know what? That makes sense. She's a fish. She wouldn't want to go to Hotland. You got the Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. I kind of want to read it. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. You have no standard! That sounds rude. <laughs> but I, I... I'm really kind of tempted to read this. Undyne's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. I, I shouldn't. I'll be nice. I really shouldn't. But I have a feeling it's a love letter. We know... I know that she... Oh, okay. There's the dog. Tra la la. Care for a ride. Ride in the boat. Yes. Where will we go today? To Hotland! Then we're off. But, uh, yeah, I sort of know about the whole ship thing, but I don't know if it's canon or not, because I haven't read that much into it. Cha la la, eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Oh, okay. Gotta eat a mushroom every day so we can become like Mario. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't know if it's canon or not, but I have a feeling. It's a love letter, and that's why the whole shipment thing came along. Come again sometime, tra la la. Well, that's not the only reason. There's a lot of other stuff. But, uh, just in case, for some weird reason, we would, uh, we would run into a fight 
let us get some junk food in here. And we'll save too. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. What happens if I read it now? I have a save point so I can go back to it. I'm fucking doing it! Maybe if you check the lab door, you can slide it underneath. Oh, so I can't actually... I can't actually use it! I thought I could read it! I wanted to read it, okay. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under... No, why would I say no? Slide the letter... You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, no! Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut c kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What's happening? Was that a letter opener? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you... No, 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 not me, undyed. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. This is a love letter. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up. up that's... It's not... To me, it's from Undyne! Yeah, let's know! It was a love letter! But it was from Undyne, not me! Let's go on a date! Oh, well, dating simulator again. Dating start! Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't. This question mark. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed like every. Oh, I'm not gonna. Feminism! If I say that, the comments will go crazy. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. Is that f friend Metaton? I know it's a ghost spirit inside Metaton, but I don't know if it's a girl spirit. I can't remember that much. She's got a great... Yeah, it's a girl, a girl spirit. Metaton is a girl then. <laughs> She's got a great sense of... Um. Anyway, let's do this thing. Oh, dating start. Hey, w wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. We're not in a proper place. Right? Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection status statistic first. Then, that'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Have you played dating simulators before, Undyne? Right? Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I I've been stockpiling gifts in intent and anticipation for a date like this. Oh, you have played dating simulators. I've only played, like, one? Have I only played one? Was Honey Pop the only one I've ever played? Obviously not on this channel, I would never play Honey Pop on this channel. But, but first, I've got some metal armor pole. That's for Undyne, I don't have metal armor. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your skill. I'm not Undyne! <laughs> your, uh, skills. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair? <laughs> Again, I'm not Undyne! Um, hey. Let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. It's, oh, this feels so wrong. One, she's a dinosaur. Two, it's from Undyne! She, she doesn't know. It's, it's me. It's me in real life if I was ever on a date! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, do you like... Anime. <laughs> I love anime! Oh, yep! Hey, me too! If you could see my manga collection, right literally over to my right, it's not in this frame, but it's a bookshelf. Two bookshelves full, and the first one has two sections that are doubled. And an anime selection of DVDs right over there. I love anime. Oh, Alphys, I do, but I don't love you. It's Undyne. Hey, me too. Oh, no. Hey, let's go somewhere. Again, this is literally me if I was ever on a date. But where's a good place to go on a date? I'm laughing so much because I, oh, I can relate. Oh, God. Oh, it's amazing.
I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! Okay, I wouldn't like, say garbage dump, but, uh, whatever you like, you like, uh, here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff, great stuff here. Oh, I can make anime references because she loves anime, like Higurashi, where you find dead bodies. <laughs> She's really, uh, oh no. That's her over there. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not dating her on Dine, I swear! I c can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh, well, you like her. Oh no. Here she comes! Is she gonna be dressed like a. Whoa. It does. I'm uh, sorry, on Dine, but that does not suit you. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing. It might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it. I already delivered it! Um, have you at least seen her? Um... Look, I haven't seen her at all! Not a single time of the day! Yes! Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh, you Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. She likes you too! I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. Well, I got that. I hate everyone, so... I j just figured, y you know, it'd be f fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you t to make you feel better? Oh. Oh! Crushing me! Oh! First Papyrus, now Alphys! Well, it sounds even worse when I put it that, like that. Yep. I'm sorry I messed up again. I'm not the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. So it is canon! Not that you aren't, um, cool. Was it actually even possible for me to become greater friends with Alphys before this? I feel like this whole Greater Friends with Alphys thing was unlocked by me completing the neutral route. Because, I mean, Flowey said maybe you could have become better friends, but, uh, I feel like that was an impossibility. Jeez, my hair. But, but, on time, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Oh, I feel you! I feel you! A fraud. Maybe not that much. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. Oh no! I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. Raise your hand if you can relate! If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth! If someone doesn't like you... Important lesson here, everybody! Listen the fuck up! Important lesson! If someone doesn't like you for the real you, they're not worth your affection. Tell her the goddamn truth! The truth? If I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No! Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. I literally just said that! Moments ago, you all heard, right? You were paying attention. But I don't really like who myself. Oh God! I, can... my God! Raise your hand, everybody! I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. God damn! Relatable. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? She's probably literally listening right off screen. I don't have that confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roll. Don't have a choice here. Let's roleplay it, or obviously, let's roleplay. Now, I can't say that. Not on YouTube. Oh, let's roleplay it. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. I know, right? Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? You'll be Undyne, I'll be Undyne. Well, if she's trying to speak the truth to Undyne, I should be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs>
Ahem, if I selected Yobi Undyne, I'm pretty sure she would have been like, wait, then how does that work? Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? Oh, oh, yes, yes, you're cute. Th thanks! You say that to me a lot, and I know. This girl is more oblivious than me, and I'm fucking denser than a rock! And I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, too relatable. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Then, then she kisses you? Ooh. Am I saying that or doing that? I'd like to talk to you, then she kisses you. Well, I'd, she wouldn't do that, I don't think. So what is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, I, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. What are you, Bill from It? You see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and, and st strong and, and nice. And she's probably listening to this right now. You always listen to, to me when I talk about n nerdy stuff. You always d d do your best, make me f f feel special. Like, d do I have to do all the stuttering, telling me that y you'll b beat up anyone that gets in my way? Undyne, I can't take this any longer. What is that? Whoa, I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. Oh, I knew it. I knew she was listening. I knew she was hearing it. What did you say? Undyne, I was just... Ooh, we're gonna get into some, uh, some girl on girl stuff here. What's, what's happening here? Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Oh god, oh no, don't kill me, please! Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! Why, 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 why? I'm gonna get stabbed now! I mean, uh, no! There we go. I mean, we, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like, I can't really, I just let you say ice cream. And those human history books that I keep reading, those are dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, was just eating frozen yogurt in my, oh god, Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. So that's where Alphys, not Alphys, Undyne gets that whole knowledge of the human history about the swords and all that. All from Undyne, not, oh, Jesus, I'm mixing up the names. All from Alphys, which makes sense, because anime. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and, and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? Alphys, I think you need to- Why did you throw her in the trash then? Why did you toss her away like she was garbage? <laughs> but you've gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytic. Anal analytical? I don't know words. It doesn't matter what it is you care about. It's 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have a t to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? What? Me? Oh, Papyrus! Yes! Now, nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> oh, great. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it sounds like Papyrus would be pretty great at that. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne... I like how I only have a voice for Papyrus and literally no one else. 
I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? <laughs> right. Anime's real, right? Uh, do I be honest? I feel like I should be honest to her. Anime is not real, don't kill me! No, no! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I can survive this. I have to be strong for Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Oh, I, maybe I should have told her it was always real. Whoa, whoa, it's literally just done after that? It's, that, that's, that's, that's literally it? What happens next? I don't have a save. Okay, there we go. Our taking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Um... We've been here before. Do I have to go back to someone now? Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. I've already been here. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. The cooler is empty. I think now I have to go back. Oh, ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished off training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Ah, uh, now, I feel strongly. And for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay. So I need to go... Oh, there's a nice little save. You feel a calm and tranquility. You feel it with determination. So I have to go back to Alphys' house. I don't know what for, but I have to go back there. So that is it for some more Undertale. That was a lot of fun and oh my God, relatable. Too relatable. But I loved that, that was great. Uh, I don't know what's coming next. All I knew is we'd have to befriend Alphys and it seems like we did the job, so. I don't know what's next. But anyways, guys, that is it for some more Undertale. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.